a lot of people have been asking where the WRX has been. And as you can see, that's where I used to park it. It's not there anymore. Uh, sad to say. Um, it's been a while since I've been on camera. The last few videos I've had the camera strapped to my face. But a lot of people have been asking where the WRX has been. And as you can see, that's where I used to park it. It's not there anymore. Sad to say, she's no longer with us. Not just joking, I'm actually using I'm actually using the wing as a table because I don't want to put my tripod on. But <laughs> still there. Good to go. Kind of ish. She's still she's still here. She's still my baby. I can't get rid of her. Come on. I haven't made any videos on the Subaru in a long, long time. In a long 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 time and that's for a good reason about two weeks ago I went to the beach but before I went to the beach I had to go to 7-eleven there's one under a train station so I parked under there and I got what I need to get and when I got back there was like this weird oil on my on my car it was on the wrap it was on the roof and I wiped it off I didn't think much of it because you know that happens like it was it, I thought it was either dirty water or oil so I wiped it off and I went to the beach once I got to the beach I realized that it was it was on it was on that little that, that little thing, that, that part, that blue, that blue line. So I tried to wipe it off and it was stuck on there. It like, it like congealed into like this weird, I don't know, lump. So I got some soap and water and alcohol and I wiped it off and it turns out that it actually melted through my vinyl. Let me, let me show you. I oh, don't know if you could see that. That is stained and you can see the two different colors because this, the clear, the clear coat, the laminate is gone from here and here Let's see so it's literally just I mean my car's filthy but it, it just melted off the laminate so that was enough to bum me out and I, I didn't know what to do and you know I really wanted to keep the wrap until September which is when wicked big meat is so I hit of course auto design we are in the process of trying to get this warrantied um, the rest of the wrap has some delaminating all around it too, which is not normal. It normally takes about three to five years for it to delaminate. Um, but for some reason, there's parts of this wrap that are starting to delaminate, so we're trying to get that all covered under warranty. That's not the only part that got damaged by that mystery liquid. It, I don't even know what it was. If you guys know what it is, please drop it in the comments. I have a feeling that it's some sort of brake fluid that leaked from the train onto, onto my baby. But let, let's look at the rest of the damage. You can see it already right here. Like my banner, my banner literally got toasted. It melted, stained it. Yeah, that's not good. Um, the rubber right here actually discolored. Um, so this is messed up, that's messed up, that's messed up. It got onto here, it got onto here. Uh, as you can see, there's various spots on the roof and it's not, it's not dirty, it's not. Uh, got some delaminating here. So that's where my WRX has been. She's She's been here in the driveway. I drive her around, you know, I don't have a problem driving her around because she looks good when she's rolling. But I, I don't want to take her to any car meets. I don't want to take her to any shows because because it looks bad. It, and it doesn't it doesn't reflect the work that Calvin's done. It doesn't reflect the the design that Corsa designed with me. It doesn't it's not it doesn't do it justice. And because of that, I haven't taken the car out really like I'll drive to work. And that's that's pretty much it but it's just I don't know if the wrap is ruined if it's not covered under warranty I literally have a whole roll of my new wrap in my room so I've just been waiting for the right time to get that installed Calvin's just so busy Calvin Calvin put me in your schedule dog but anyway that's uh, that's where the WRX has been he still looks good from afar you know if you just you stand here maybe tilt maybe tilt your head a bit looks clean but it's when you get closer that really bothers me you know and there's some things that I really want to change that roof has to go has to get redone definitely the car does need a lot of work if I'll be honest before I wrap it with the new color I am gonna take it to a PDR guy because for some reason there's like random dents around not nothing like not like door dings but just random dents that I have to get fixed I want to do a full paint correction on the thing make sure the paint is nice and smooth there are some rock chips that I really can't do anything about maybe I'll get the bumper repainted we'll see and if you have been watching me long enough you'll know that this here this area this fender this rear quarter is not painted the wrap actually covers some bodywork well, this is the whole reason we got the wrap in the first place was to cover the bodywork instead of paying x amount of money to just have it painted uh we had it 
pulled out, fixed by a body shop. They did a very good job. You know, they restored the lines perfectly. They just didn't paint it, which is like some, it was a mistake with scheduling. They was, they painted a car that they weren't supposed to paint and they didn't paint mine. They swapped, it was a whole thing, but that has to get done. I don't know if I'm gonna actually get it painted this time or I'm just gonna have them resurface it because the Bondo is starting to have some cracks just from the heat and the cold and all that stuff. So yeah, there's some work that needs to get done on the WRX. I do have some goodies coming in for it. Uh, it might be time to do some power mods. Finally, um, the interior definitely needs some love. I got some work to do. Uh, with that being said, she is out of gas. I haven't driven her in a minute, so let's go because I've been trying to get this picture for a long, long time. Plus, I, it's it's a nice day. It's been raining all the time. Like literally every other day, it's rainstorms. So I'm gonna take advantage of the clear weather and go for a drive. Oh, update on Yasmin. She's, she's wonderful. She is just as beautiful as the day I picked her up. Uh, I put some paint protection I don't know if you can see that, but I, I did put some paint protection film on her nose just so, you know, bugs don't get up all on that. I put some on the carbon fiber here. Uh, I did my first oil change. Everything about this bike is great. I love this bike so, so much. I love you. In case you want to know how hot it is, that's my dash cam. It literally melts the double-sided tape off and it just falls off. Let me just stick you back on there. That is how hot and humid it's been. I'm sweating right now, at least there's a nice breeze, but it gets so hot and humid and then it'll thunderstorm for two days and then the whole thing just repeats. There's like no point in washing your car anymore. As you guys can see, not much has changed. You know, we got our little trees here, pro clip mount. You know, we still. Yeah, that's a good background. That's a quality background right there. Um, is the whole Amazon fleet here? Because there's, hello? There's an Amazon? There's an Amazon behind this white truck van thing, Amazon? Is it Amazon meat? Let's get a sound check real quick. AC off.